Let's take a look at how to deal with apostrophes when we're filtering or doing similar things in QGIS. On screen, I've got a layer of place names in Great Britain. I can open up the attribute table and pull it into screen. And we can see in the name one column, we've got the name of places. So that's fine. If I right click and filter, what we can do then is double click in the name one column, do equals, and then if I hit the all button, it's gonna list all places. And then let's take Aaron's Hill. And notice what happens here. When I double click it here, Aaron's Hill suddenly has two apostrophes in it. And the reason for that is because the apostrophe character is used to surround the thing we're searching for. And if a piece of text has an apostrophe in it, that will confuse QGIS. So when we're searching or filtering for apostrophes, we need to put two in. So if I click OK, and then let's zoom into it with the label on, we can see how that works. Let me hit the filter button again. So it's got two. If I do one apostrophe, you can see how it changes color and it thinks you're just searching for something called Aaron with some text after it. So it doesn't recognize it. So two apostrophes are needed. Let me clear that query, click OK. Now, if I wanted to search for all places that have an apostrophe in it, I can just right click, go to filter, double click name one, because that's the column my place names are in. I'll use like here, and then I'll use the single quote or the apostrophe character, percent, single quote, the percent symbol and single quote, so the apostrophe. And we see what happens, the colors are not quite right, so I need to do, put two apostrophes in between the percentage signs. And what that does, what this query does, is it searches for any place names that have an apostrophe in it, anywhere in the place name. If I click OK, and then zoom to the layer, we can see there's quite a lot. So if I zoom into the north of Scotland, and I've set it so the names come on eventually. There we go, St. Margaret's Hope. So hopefully this will solve your problems and take away some of the pain when you're trying to figure out how on earth you search or filter for place names with apostrophes in them.